My name is uh, Avuni Alfred, director of John Paul II Jason Peace Center. John Paul Jason Peace Center, together with the Catholic Secretariat, Association of Religious in Uganda, in collaboration with UJCC and IRCU and AFJN, are organizing a National Day of Prayer on the 9th of September at the Kololo Ceremonial Ground. This prayer is focused on human trafficking. We are all very much aware that so many youth, young women and men have been going to do job, to, to get some job abroad. And also internally from rural areas are coming to town and end up being trafficked in one way or the other. Funny enough, even in this country, we have Karamoja children on the street who are being used for begging and other forms of exploitation within the city. Human trafficking has become a very big issue in our country, like any other country in the world. And it needs us to join hands together to fight the vice so that those who are subjected to human trafficking also come to realize their rights. It is very funny that in the media we hear a lot about it, but nothing is being done. Of course, the government has done a lot to reduce the vice, but despite having the laws in place and having other interventions to reduce trafficking, the traffickers continue trafficking girls and boys day and night. And as we speak, a number of girls and boys are being trafficked. So, all these organizations I mentioned in my beginning have come together to join hand that we could pray to God as people of faith so that we can call upon those who are perpetrating human trafficking to go to, to be converted and also for the victims of human trafficking, the girls and the boys, so that God can be with them. And also for those who are supporting them, so that they continue giving the help they deserve. More so, our prayer on the 9th of September is also intended to create awareness so that people come to know. Because some of these people who are being trafficked are being trafficked because they lack knowledge of what is going to happen to them when they leave their homes. For those who come from the rural areas think that life is in the city. Upon arrival in the city, they find themselves being exploited in various ways. For those who go abroad, they also find themselves being exploited in sexual exploitation and any other form of abuses. So we call upon you, upon all of you, that come 9th of September, we join hands together and pray with one voice, calling upon our Lord to protect our children, to protect our brothers, to protect our sisters who are being trafficked day and night. Now, these prayers also require us to have enough resources in order for us to be successful in the preparation for the event. We have written a number of letters for contribution. Those who have received these letters, we call upon you to respond to our letters and give the help we need in order for us to successfully um, carry out this event. But more so, as people of God, we are calling upon all of you to join us in, at Kololo Ceremonial Ground to pray together. And let us keep time so that we can pray with the, uni with the one accord and also be together at the right time. I would like also to appeal to the various parishes uh, where these uh, uh, requests for contribution have been submitted to, uh, to respond to our letters so that we can organize this event um, in time. We are left with a few days. So basically, within these 
few days which are remaining, we would like to hear from you, those who have received the letters, so that we have the money at hand for the preparation. For those who would like to contribute to, to the course of this event, we would request that you send your contribution on account number 31000226690. For the mobile number you can use is 0782-40. 1067. So those are the two um, places where you can send the money for the contribution. I keep reminding you that we are left with a few days. The more you contribute, the better for us to ensure that this event becomes successful and our brothers and sisters who are suffering get some consolation. I thank you for listening.